Hello, and uh, welcome to the first episode of the uh, Musical Mayhem podcast. Uh, a few things have changed, uh, and I am just going to go over that real quick before uh, we waffle on for the next 45 minutes or so. Uh, first of all, how are you, Lewis? Doing pretty good, lad. I'm pretty good. That's good. Face hurts, but that's you know, fine. Is what it is. Yeah. So it's just Lewis joining me here today. Uh, because uh, in a series of unfortunate events that was actually just, you know, one message on a group chat. Uh... Oh, we got hit by a bus, so... <laughs> uh, I wish. What? No, I'm joking. Um not walk. Harvey is not doing the podcast with us anymore because he has other uh, things to do, other content and other people to do stuff with. Uh, so, you know... He's just left the snail trail that is me and Lewis to do this podcast by ourselves. Oh my god, it's the snail trail. <laughs> um, so yeah. What does that mean? Um, basically, aside from that, uh, this podcast is no longer Metal Manic. Um, we decided that metal was just a little too small of an area for us to cover because there's not a lot that we can really look for for just, you know, an episode a week. There's not a lot to go off news-wise. Um, so we were kind of, oh, I, you know, I, I say I say we. In terms of looking for content, I was kind of struggling at finding things. And then, you know, we were struggling at attempting to record anything because we had nothing to go off. Um, and the stuff we did, it would just end up being, like, a really, really short thing. Like a 10, 20-minute thing. Yeah, like that first so one. Old. That first one discussing the Avenged Sevenfold <laughs> album. That was perfect because there was yeah. loads of content there to cover, but but we don't get an album released every week, so <laughs> yeah, that second one kind of fell off a bit, and it was like what fucking seventeen minutes long. Like that is yeah. not. I mean, we got a good clip out of it. Yeah, we but... did. That was a really uh, funny yeah, that was, clip. That was about it, to be honest. <laughs> um, so yeah, welcome to uh, you know, musical mayhem, which is uh, a b- basically everything. We're just going to waffle about music. Uh, we discovered that we can talk about things like playlists, you know, favourite songs, discuss music tastes, how we got into this type of music. We can discuss news within the music industry uh, and, and all things of, of the sorts. Um, so yeah, Harvey is uh, no longer joining us. Uh, in his place, however, we do have uh, another friend who is going to be joining us very soon. Uh, our mate, our good friend Leo. Um, once he uh, eventually gets a webcam. Um, yeah, so that's the news in terms of the new shit. Uh, ignore the son of God in the background. Um, I currently have a clock on my windowsill that is sucking in the light so it can glow in the dark. Um, it's a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas countdown alarm clock. Because I'm a sad little Tim Burton child. Um, it's actually quite sick. I can't lie. It glows in the fucking dark. It's a working alarm clock, and I can change the fucking days until Christmas and Halloween. That's fucking cool. So sixty-five days till Halloween, guys. Yippee! Go. Uh, speaking of Halloween, Halloween is my favorite holiday of the year. It's currently the twenty-seventh of August, and I've got pumpkin lights on my desk. Um. <laughs> Because, because in theory, or not in theory, in fact, we're only, uh, you know, a month and, uh, okay, we're actually a, a little bit away from Halloween. Okay, so when I talk Halloween, I'm saying the 1st of October, so we are only oh, really are, oh, oh, okay, so not a end, month a month and three days away from yeah. the 1st. Is there a 31st in August? Let me check. Just, just, <laughs> so we, we have, just wait. I think there's a thirty first in August. Yeah, thirty th- yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's August. a there's a thirty first. Okay, so thirty in September, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so a few days and a month and a few days away from the first of October. Uh which is, you know, my favourite time of year, aside from winter. Um I don't like November. November can piss off. Just October October's just kinda of there, bro. October and December are, are the best. Um but yeah. So we'll I'm going to carry on a little conversation about 
the uh, the film that that comes from later on because I feel like it's going to make for good conversation. I'm so, uh, I do want to mention this uh, podcast is now. I, I honestly I don't even know what's going on. I think we are just going to carry on from where we were, so we're still going to class this as episode three. It's just not going to be metal manic. Um. Which, you know, I don't really think that's going to be too confusing. Should be absolutely fine. I mean, we, like, we're still talking about metal occasionally when this news. Yeah, I think that is going to be one of the main yeah. things as well. But at least we've got more to cover when we can't talk about metal. Um, yeah. So our first topic of conversation actually happens to be metal. Um, oh. <laughs> so, you know, that's really funny considering we've just stopped doing the metal podcast. Um, I recently released a single. Uh, my first uh, debut single uh, called Ashes. Uh, it's an instrumental piece, three minutes, 20 seconds long. Um, shameless plug. Uh, we won't get copyrighted for playing that, will we? No, we really won't. I'm going to sing and play it. That would be cool as like a like an intro thing. That would be cool, yeah. Um, if my mic will pick up. Oh, bro, don't, don't. It's going to be horrid through the microphone. <laughs> I don't know. It's not picking this. It's picking it up every now and again, so it's just cutting your mic out. <laughs> it's not going to pick it up. It's yeah. fine. Uh, anyway. You can just put it in. Over, uh, you can just put it in. You know, like, there'll be yeah. links and stuff. Uh, you can find it on Spotify, which I know is where most people will be watching this. Uh, Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music, iTunes, uh, you know, YouTube, YouTube Music, fucking SoundCloud. It's pretty much everywhere uh, because I bought DistroKid. Um, and I'm now under my own label, uh, which is interesting. Distro Kid was kind of like, "Hey, you don't have a record label, make one right now." So I was like, "Oh, okay." Um, so this my room. Uh, I don't really. To me, it's not a bedroom. It is my studio. Um, it's just a studio with a bed in it. Um, <laughs> and I named this studio uh lucid dream house studios uh oh, i i named it my uncle gave me this name just out of nowhere oh, so you know thanks to my uncle um and i was like hmm record label i kind of want to go with the studio so you know lucid dream house records kind of made sense so uh yeah and out of my own record label which is a uh, fun uh plan on doing a lot with that in the future uh anyway back to ashes uh, it's like a thrash style kind of piece that I did, um, and I got a mate of mine on it, my good friend Joe, uh, made an intro for it, it's like a 30 odd second long string choir sort of arrangement, um, it gives it a very, so good. Yeah. like the intro is actually amazing, yeah, it gives... I, I love, I love when like metal songs have an intro that is just not metal, yeah, and then no, it just comes like out that. of nowhere. It it's honestly sounds like really heavenly. Yeah, you know, it's very like, like the strings and the choir and shit. It's it's oh very Lorna Shaw esque. And then and then it hits. Yeah, um, yeah, like um, Sonita. Eater. I think it's like Pain Remains Three. Yeah, pretty but much like, every like, Lorna Shaw song on that album. Yeah, I just remember Pain Remains Three. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it starts with that, and then honestly, it's like the most simple riff that I've ever come up with in my life, but I don't know, it kind of just stuck out to me. Um, it works, though. It's still really good. And I was like, all right, sick, let's just record this. And, you know, about, well, uh, about 30 minutes of recording time total, but about a day later, I had, you know, everything fully finished, and it was ready to be mixed and stuff, and... Uh, so, you know, it's a short piece, and for a debut single, uh, from, you know, someone of my sort of age and talent area, it's not bad. Um, but I think the next move, uh, which I plan on starting up, the well, when I go back to college, is I'm writing an EP, um... So, I'm not going to say anything about that, but I am writing an EP. Big, big, just real quick, bro. For anyone that doesn't know what an EP is, can you please explain? 
what an EP is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, an EP is uh, I'm a hundred percent sure it's between like six and some other number amount of songs, and I'm pretty sure it lasts about like half an hour total uh, on average. Or that's like the main example people use. Um, yeah, it's between like six and something songs, or it's like up to six songs. It um, typically contains around four to six tracks. Yeah, it's longer than yeah, a single, six, but then, shorter than a full six. length album. Yeah, yeah. So I think at the runtime is normally around half an hour. So plan on having uh, you know about six songs in there, um, just standard EP stuff. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be. I've you know started a little bit of work on it, and I think it's gonna be fun to do in college in an actual studio. Not saying that my room isn't, because it, you know it is, but I think the college is oh, definitely just, better. better yeah, and it's easier easier to do stuff as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's Ashes. Um, go yeah. with song. Go. Uh, Go check go go please <laughs> check it out. Please. Really should, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, really should. I, I instantly added it to my playlists. I need the uh I need the streams. Just to <laughs> get me get me out there a bit. I like I could just have it on repeat right now. Cause... <laughs> um but yeah. So now we can talk actual music. Just regular stuff. We're not just Yay. restricted to metal, let's talk. So I'm gonna jump back to this really quick. So, The Nightmare Before Christmas, um, if you don't know it, then don't watch this podcast, because <laughs> I don't like you anymore. That's a joke. Okay, wait. Don't so, take that if seriously. If you haven't seen it, go see it. If yeah. you haven't, see it, if you haven't seen it, go watch, watch it, it, please. Go see it and then come back. Yeah, yeah go see it, go yeah. watch it, please, and then come back. It's not like I'm spoiling anything. I'm just, I mean, it's been out since fucking 1993, so if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna be really for surprised. That, for a movie that old, it's still so good. It really it's is. So uh, directed by Tim Burton, the fucking goat. You know, Coraline, Corpse Bride, Frank and Weenie, uh, Edward Scissorhands. Um, yeah, fucking. I'd had the name in my head, but now it's gone. Barber Man, the um, Johnny Depp plays. Literally favorite musical, and it's just gone out of my head. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So, oh, Sweeney Todd, that's the one. Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Yeah. Anyway, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, because, you know, it's nearly spooky season. So, let's delve into that a little bit. Um, honestly, I'm not 100% sure what I want to talk about about this film. Just its music in general. I think I just want to summarise because I love it so much. Um, the music in that film is fucking brilliant. Danny Elfman is a great composer. Uh, worked on that film, surprisingly, and I think a few of other Tim Burton's films, and then went on to do Spider-Man, uh, the Sam Raimi films. Oh, so good. Um, yeah, and a lot of other shit. Um, but yeah, I think musicals in general, uh, the, honestly... The, there's never much to talk about when it comes to musicals, apart from how great the music is. I have like, to be honest. My one of my my favorite movie is a music is a musical. Hmm. The Greatest Showman, isn't it? The Greatest Showman. Yeah, that's a fucking belter film, to be honest. But yeah. Um. So I'm a little Tim Burton fanboy. Um, Who isn't? Which is why I had to buy that clock because in a child Tim Burton me was screaming for it. Um, and would have killed me in my sleep if I didn't buy it, so I had to force my parents into getting me that one. Um, but yeah, so the film itself, obviously, you know, if you've seen it, you know, it's a weird, well, it's Halloween and a Christmas film, I think. I watch it on both occasions. That's an ongoing debate, actually. Is it a Halloween film or is it a Christmas film? Well, here's the thing. It, it, the name is The Nightmare Before Christmas, mm. which that's a very big debate of Christmas film. Mm. Um, and I it's, I mean, I don't think we want to like, spoil the movie. So it's kind of hard. 
the dog about it. But like during the movie, there's very big Christmas elements. Yeah, because it's about them it's essentially stealing Christmas in it and making it yeah, their own. He literally becomes yeah Santa. Yeah, yeah, um, and then it, 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 the but it is but it is based around in general. Like the entire movie is just Halloween esque. Yeah, it's like it's because it's it. it's just characters from Halloween Town and yeah. then Christmas is kind of featured in it. But the whole point is that Christmas is like the main focus of the film. Um, so you know, uh, on ongoing debate still somewhere I'd, I'd on the planet. Both. I think it's just both. It's just easier to say both because it because it is both. I watch it at both because I love Halloween and Christmas and. Honestly, I, man, I watch horror movies. I, I watched a horror movie last Christmas, so, you know, I uh, can't even, it so shouldn't even be an ongoing debate. Just watch whatever the fuck you want, whatever you want. Christmas well, films. Don't, don't, watch, don't, watch, don't watch Christmas movies in, like, June. Yeah, don't do that. Only no, watch Christmas movies Christmas in December. Christmas for Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah. And only Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Halloween stuff, whatever you want. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, of course. Halloween's the goated, goated holiday. I don't actually celebrate it. Oh damn. No, we don't. I mean, we don't put like up decorations and stuff. I mean, we I'm haven't we haven't done anything. decorations and shit for years, and I haven't dressed up for a couple of years. But like, you know, I still watch movies and eat shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah. Um, honestly, I actually want to talk about how we both got from the music that we used to listen to, to the music that we listen to now, so... I want to, just before that, I really want to, I'm going to tell you what music I used to listen to every day, whenever I just want to listen to music. Got fucking Ed Sheeran, The Killers... Um, Panic at the Disco, Living Tombstone. Oh, yes. One Republic. You know, all of this shit. You know, you got Payphone, World's Smallest Violin. The one that got away by Katy Perry. It's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will play it in my room at full blast vibing to that shit. <laughs> like... <laughs> Fair enough, bro. Um... Yeah, and now we got shit like Metallica <laughs> and Lorna Shaw. So, I used to listen to literally nothing with uh, lyrics or vocals in. I would just listen to purely movie soundtracks or video game soundtracks. Um, and then, I mean, you know, obviously when whenever other people put music on, uh, like Queen and and my dad with the occasional, like, Metallica song, um, he'd either put on, like, one or, um, yeah, just songs like that I would, you know, listen to and actually enjoy, and then I think around, god, this was year seven, I obviously started playing the piano, um, and it was still just movie soundtracks, video game soundtracks, I think around, like, year 11, um, I think from between year 7 and year 11, I was listening to, like, a bunch of Queen and, like, old school Metallica, Ozzy Osbourne, um, like, classic rock, and yeah. then I just went straight from that to System of a Down, Slipknot, Evanescence, um, which is, like, very mild, and then I think one day I was just kind of like, hmm, you know, I'm super into music now, I've started to get into metal, I'm playing the guitar now, I'm playing the drums, let's experiment a little bit further, so I delved deeper into the metal world and discovered deathcore and black metal, um... And now I'm listening to a lot of like Whitechapel, Lorna Shaw, Gore Pig, um, Analepsy, and you know, still the occasional Slipknot, Evanescence, System of a Down, uh, a lot of Avenged Sevenfold. Avenged are undoubtedly the best band on planet fucking Earth. 
Is, yeah, they're, uh, my, they're my favourite band. Is uh, what I will say. Um, they're a metalcore band, which is quite mild for like my kind of taste, but they do go like super heavy sometimes, uh, which is always nice. Um, and obviously, you know, if you've watched the podcast, you know I like Avenged Sevenfold because I probably fanboyed for an hour straight in the first episode um, over the uh, new album Life Is But a Dream. I say new, lad. That's old now. Isn't June second. June seventh. <laughs> that's ne- it's nearly three months old it doesn't it does really doesn't feel that old it doesn't it, Fucking it, hell. maybe like a week or two but jeez yeah that's mad so yeah and then i, I remember, think go on i remember when we were we just like before it came out we were just in obviously the vc just chatting about it going lad i can't wait for this shit to come out look at the leaks they, they, they leaked a song in it and we'd listen to that and we go oh my god you know oh mate i remember doing that and now we can just just listen to it but it's such a good album it's trippy as fuck yeah and obviously my views on every song have changed and the fact that i like them all now they're yeah. all just great i mean ordinary is still a bit debatable but yeah okay that one's but yeah. but the rest of them like cosmic i didn't really like cosmic that much fucking hell cosmic man it's so it's so good. Obviously, Mattel is still. Oh, Mattel. What top a, tier. What top tier on the album. Beautiful Morning and Cosmic are my favourite songs on that record. Yeah. But yeah, I think uh, when I sort of developed the music taste for metal, I introduced Harvey, who obviously was on this podcast with us previously. Um, not fully, but. Uh, you know, I kind of he was into you know, like Bring Me the Horizon, um, um <laughs> a couple of smelly little things like that. So you know, I kind of just sent him like playlists and shit along with Lewis, um, and I think as well as that, you obviously already knew you know about the existence of the mad shit that I listen to. But I yeah. kind of fully d- d- dragged you down into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know. You obviously you started listening to metal or any version of it a lot, like a while before I did. I only really got into it partway through college, like a couple months into college. Yeah. So I haven't like less than a year. Well, yeah, yeah, less than a year. I've been listening to metal, and now it's like the main thing I listen to. It's mad how times change like that. Yeah. So I just I just asked you, yo, dude, you'd send me a playlist of metal shit that you think I'd like and stuff, and you provided. Like this is like nine hours long or something. <laughs> like hundred and twenty songs, and that just being added to. Yeah. You know, every so often, it's so good, lad. Metal's just beautiful. Everyone's like, oh, yeah. what is this infernal noise? Shut up. It's art. It's amazing. Well, I, it's like, I got my girlfriend into metal, and she's all, she's a she's a Swifty. She loves Taylor Swift. And I'm getting her into metal. Best way to so, do it. Metal is quite literally for everyone. Yeah, it is. I don't think there's anyone that actually hates metal. People just don't understand it. Yeah, I mean, well, you can see why people wouldn't like, you know, um, what's it called? You know, like the Lorna, Lorna Shaw type metal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't you, even... can, you can see why people wouldn't like that as much. I don't even think they hate it, though. They just don't understand. No, I don't think they hate it. It's just like, because you don't know, most time you don't know what the fuck they're saying. Yeah, you can't. I feel like I'm like one of the only people that can understand every single word. Yeah, I, I'll occasionally get a couple words. Yeah. Like that. There but are some are, that are like less audible because they are just like... <laughs> <laughs> or just squealing. It's... To the hellfire. <laughs> yeah. The fucking pig squeals. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's mad. Mel's just... It's different. It's like... Very it, different. You, you couldn't explain... The, like in this much detail i mean you probably could explain in this much detail but uh, uh like to someone about like hip-hop 
or rap, but it it doesn't feel the same. Like I listen to yeah. a lot of I go from metal to fucking jazz to classical piano. And I listen to a lot of rap as well, mainly like, you know, Eminem, Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, like, you know, Snoop, that kind of rap. But, like, it's not the same. It's it's just not. And I don't know what it is. It might just be because I'm a big fucking metalhead, but... Probably. You know, it's, that's just how it feels. Um... Music as a whole is is a uh, is is an incredible thing, um, and I genuinely do think a lot of people wouldn't be here without music. Yeah, I think to be fair, I feel like us included. I wouldn't be here without music. Yeah, no, I wouldn't either. It's it becomes such like a big part of your life, whether you know it is or not. You know, because it genuinely helps you in so many ways that you don't realize. Yeah, I, w- I, I, I wouldn't be here without music. Yeah, it's, it's millions, millions of people wouldn't. You yeah. know, people we know, people, whoever, whoever's listening to this, people you know, us, yeah, just tons of people, because it's such a big part of everyone's life, whether you know it is or not, no matter what kind of music you listen to, whether it's, you know, metal, classical, jazz, whatever. Mate, jazz is fucking boss. I wanna. Yeah, so this is something I actually plan on doing. So in this in this EP that I'm writing, I want some like jazz metal fusion shit going on. Uh, um. Well. So I'm gonna get my mate Joe on that possibly, and then me, Ruben, and Harry, um, possibly Rob, um, who's a who's a friend of ours, are doing like a blues metal fusion piece, um. And I just want to make the album, or I'm going to call it the album because an EP is a type of album. So I'm going to, yeah. So the album is just going to be some mad shit, some really mad shit. You'll be like metal fused with other different kinds of music. Yeah, pretty much. Obviously, all relating to the topic that it's about, which you know I explained to you a little bit about. Yeah. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm looking at my little self-made avenged. Sevenfold information poster things up there. Right well, I now. see you like occasionally looking at it. Um, I actually want to talk about something. So on Friday the first of September, which is this upcoming Friday, I am getting a tattoo, uh, on my hand, back of my hand, of um, of a beautiful little death bat, with some hair on it. Uh, it's not just some hair. It's a, uh, and it's not just some death bat. It is a uh, Jimmy the Rev Sullivan. Who was a, um, you know, avenged, avenged sevenfolds uh, drummer up until his uh, untimely death Amazing, on the twenty uh, eighth of uh, December two thousand and nine. Um, and honestly, I feel like I, I know a hundred percent, bro. When I go back into college, there's gonna be someone. And you know, I'm not gonna name. I'm not gonna name names, or name names. I feel like I know exactly who you're on about too. Someone who's gonna be like, "Oh my god, why has he got that tattoo, lad? Does he think he's a member of the band or something?" No, yeah. but that motherfucker is one of the main reasons I'm playing drums, and uh, you know, I've been following Avenged for about four years now, properly. Uh, or mm, the first two were like kind of on and off. I mean, I would listen to yeah. them when they came on in the playlist, but I wasn't into them. And in the past two years, I've been like super into them. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't know. The Rev just had a lot of influence on me in terms of drumming. And don't get me wrong, the drummer that they're with now, Brooks. I like Brooks, but he's not the Rev. He's, he's, he just can't bring into the group what the Rev did. Honestly, you know, his... Like that dynamic. It, it, I mean, like, the whole... What they had, and, you know, the the closeness and everything, it was... I know, I know they're getting on, but the band isn't, yeah. like, you know, as, as, as mad and crazy on stage as they used to be, and, you know, they would always be, like, going up to each other and, and doing mad shit, and, um, you know, I mean, obviously that's probably because they're getting older now, but... 
you know, it was still nice to see. Um, and I always am looking back on old shit and watching old shit, you know, with the revving. Um, yeah, like quite we watched literally, their, uh, their live quite a bit. Yeah, live in the LBC. We watched that, yeah. lad. That's like a fucking, that's like a ritual. Like whenever us. we're in a, you know, whenever we're in a call, you, you've always got that on. Yeah. We've always watched it at least once. Yeah. Man, yeah, that's a brilliant fucking live, that though, to be fair. Oh, it's honestly so good. The Rev's vocal as well, she's on the drums. Ooh, yeah, and they've, that's really, they've lost out on that too, to be fair, because of, you know, they're not going to get that back with anyone. Oh, mate, you know? nobody can do the Rev's vocals like the Rev can. Yeah. It's, it's just not happening. But, uh, but yeah. It was such a bad thing. Like, they made a tribute song so far away for him. So far away, it's a fucking tune. It's so good, but all you know, we always get a little teary and when listening to it. Yeah, but uh, even though we weren't with Avenged back then, you know, it's still yeah, you still, still kind of you, you, you still feel it and you still connect with yeah. it in some way. Um, back to uh the uh, original point of a uh, topic. <laughs> Not that I want to move off of that point because yeah. I, could, I could talk about Avenged and the Rev all day. Um, and to be fair, this is still related to Avenged and the Rev. So I'm getting that tattoo, uh, and it's uh, the one that M Shadows, the lead uh, vocalist, got on his hand. Um, it's a bit different and a bit more modernised, but it is still, you know, the Rev's death bat. Uh, yeah, that's the one. That's yeah, the tattoo. Yeah, that, that one, but on uh, your hand. So yeah. I'm getting that, but on the back of my hand. Um... And, and yeah, I think it's going to be great. It's just a nice way for me to sort of, I don't know, feel like it, it's some more sort of connection. Like I have some sort of, you know, some, I have more of a connection to the Rev than what I do actually have. Um, yeah. And I know when I, when I get a tell you I'm going to get one, like a, a death bat, like on my shoulder or something. Yeah. Like, you know, I saying I feel, saying I want to feel closer and, like, I have a connection, not in terms of, like, uh, you know, I want to feel like I knew him and was with him all the time. Not like that. Just I want to show my appreciation to him for influencing me like he has and, you know, being a member of Avenged. Um, yeah, and I mean, I mean, you would when there's a person that's a big part of your life, you know, that got you into what he got you into in, you know, he's kind of like a, he was someone that you kind of looked up to a little bit, wasn't he? Yeah. You know, so that, you know, it's completely fair, lad. I know, I, I would do the same. I don't have as big of a connection to him as you do, but I still loved him. Oh, they're just, you know, just, just because of who he was. Genius band. Um, you know, we were speaking before this podcast about what it's going to be like, and I completely realised just before that I was thinking the things we had planned to talk about were going to go on for a lot longer, and then we were just going to waffle for the last, like, ten minutes. The things that we were talking about took about ten, and we've just been waffling for the past 24 minutes about a different <laughs> subject each time. Well, I mean, we can do that, yeah, because it's it's us. But it's just interesting. Random... It's different yeah. topics for people to just gag in on and listen to. And you know what? Honestly, people might not listen to this. I don't give a fuck. I'm just I'm doing this. Yeah, for, I'm doing yeah, this for my own entertainment. It. It's yeah, it's fun to talk about. Plus, it kills time. And you yeah, know, that's not to say that I don't want to do this, and I want this, and I don't want this to go anywhere because I do. And I'd like for this podcast to you know get a bit of a a viewing going. Um, chances of that are quite low, but you never know. Um, you know. So um, yeah. Fucking okay, hell, I feel like I've spoke about so much in the past like thirty four minutes. My head's gonna like explode. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, I don't want to mention actually. So, Harvey was obviously co-host when he was on this podcast. Bro, uh, God love him. The message he put in the group chat was, I think I might retire from the podcast. Um, you know, I don't know how old he thinks he is or <laughs> or what kind of a role he was playing, but 
it was a it was a sad message to read. Um, it was such a sad message to read. Um, yeah. So now we got to put with Leo, dude. Oh no! Not, <laughs> not Leo! Oh, jeepers creepers! Damn it! <laughs> God, good lord! No, and um, that'll be interesting because Leo is into completely different things. Compared yeah, to what he's not like a, a metal, Bro's got like the guy. fucking 20, 2013 pop music <laughs> taste up his ass. So, you know, I can't... mean, that's something like a different kind of musical input. Yeah. Wouldn't can't wait to slander him on this podcast. Nah. <laughs> we respect all kinds of music. Again, I will listen to absolutely anything. I just won't enjoy it as much as I enjoy what I like. Um, yeah, yeah, same. But yeah. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Unless you have anything to ask or add, I'm 100% sure that I have well and truly covered every aspect of what I wanted to, and we've uh, we've waffled for long enough. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't think I've got anything to add, nah. Huh? I think I mean, we've covered basically everything. Honestly, nice considering portion. this episode, I kind of just wanted to be an introduction to the changes... Yeah, and then I like a little. I think it's gone on for long mm-hmm. enough. It's nearing the forty-minute mark, which is perfect. Um, so I'll you know be sorting this out and then watching it later. Um, and to kill another forty minutes. But yeah, I think I'm a hundred percent sure I've covered everything. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna mention this because it pissed me off. So I was trying to play critical acclaim on this little oh. fucking bastard the other day, two days ago, and me me fucking high E string, yeah, decides to start fucking playing these ungodly pitches, and I'm like, whoa, what's going on with the tuning of this? So I go to down tune it back to its original tuning, and it goes. And just fucking whizzes off to space. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, you knobhead? So, <laughs> my string's just pinned off. And, oh, I've not got the mark. I had a mark on my finger because it whipped me finger. It, like, literally, lad, I was tuning it. And it was looking at me. It was like, yeah, I'm going to snap you, little knobhead. I'm going to fucking have you. And then it fucking whipped me and fucked off somewhere. So, we've lost a string, and then my fucking stupid ass decided to not check what uh, strings came stock on it, which were 9 to 42 gauge. Um, I know what he's talking about. And I've gone ahead and ordered 11 to 48. Then realised it's a Floyd Rose tremolo, so I'm now going to need to fuck about with everything to get it used to the fucking string and gauge change. Uh, Well, that's what I've been told anyway. Listen, I'm not a guitarist. I... Hitting, I, I hit circular things with sticks, um, and play plastic keys, and occasionally strum. I say occasionally strum the guitar. I'm probably the best at the guitar out of all my instruments. Um, yeah, I think so. So I say occasionally strum. I really don't. I bum the guitar. Um, <laughs> that really wasn't the right <laughs> Not phrase. Not literally. To use to that, was it? Not literally. No. Um, well. However, I haven't got that, but I've got this. This is a beautiful little acoustic. Uh, so I've just been messing about on that. I also got your seven string in the back. Oh yeah, I also have my... Oh yeah. I forgot I had that. Thanks for reminding me. Bro, you just forget about the... I feel I feel bad for it. I you had... just forget about it. I haven't played that in months, you know. Uh, that's you my uh, Schecter Omen Extreme 7. Uh, and then in my wardrobe, I've got my old guitar. That one's doo-doo though, so... That one can go... I've got a couple of guitars at mine too. Yeah. Got an electric and acoustic. Guitar Central? But yeah. You can go get me electric if you want. I think I I've want that in a while. now officially finished talking. So before I come up with anything else to waffle on about that can be saved for another time. Yeah. <laughs> I just realised this has really become... I don't really think you announce that your podcast is ending when you go to end an episode. It just kind of... Most podcasts just kind of cut off. Or yeah, just you know, I think, you like know what I think you should thing. do. I think I think just in a bit you should just end the recording. But then when you're editing it, you just stop stop the video like now. Done. You know what? For this one, 
I'm I'm, I'm just I'm, for this off. one. I'm just gonna clap because you're gonna clap and end up on the clap. Yeah. But yeah. Like, do you not do that for the other ones? See, because this is less of a, it is less of a podcast and more of just like a talk show thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you Which... just call it a podcast because it's like an easier thing to call it. Do you end your other ones? I'm now. Curious. I ended my other ones kind of the same. I announced that I was gonna leave and then was like, "Yo, bye," and then clapped. Pretty sure. Um, uh, but yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you, Lewis, for joining me. Uh, yeah, you know you do clap. And okay, sorry. he'll be joining me for every single one of these, being the uh, new co-host, uh, taking Harvey's place. Um, I'm just better. Yeah. Um, and Leo will probably be joining us next time, which I'm hoping will be some point next week. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm free all week, obviously, other than. Friday. I'm gonna attempt next Sunday. So well, technically the Sunday. Well, yeah, it's literally Sunday in a week. today, isn't it? Literally a week. Yeah. Um, yeah we're recording it on Sunday. Don't know when you're getting this out. You're gonna get this out today. Today, yeah. Today. So every Sunday, I'm gonna try and push an episode out. If not, they'll just be randomly dotted about until we work out a schedule. But yeah, um, I mean, it's gonna get a bit harder when you know we're all back in college. So yeah, that's another thing back in college. We'll, but you we'll know what? Only have weekends. I'm on a music course, so on the podcast, I can now just waffle about my day with music. That gives us more to talk about, which is excellent. No, yeah, you can. I can waffle about my entire week and what the experience of a uh, level. Well, I keep. It is called the level three. It is called a level three course, but it is an A level music course. So, you know, waffling about what a week uh, on an A level music course is like. Um. But yeah, and, uh, thank you for uh, tuning in, anybody who has. And uh, yeah, thank you. please, I beg, go stream Ashes. You can you literally, should. if go you're on, if you're on Spotify, if you're watching this on Spotify, just back out, just click on the search bar, all caps, Ashes, Jake Gover Music. You'll find it. There's a, it's a burning mansion, and it says Ashes on it in white text. And the name you're on YouTube, is Jake Music. If you're on YouTube, well. if you're on YouTube, it's on my channel. And oh, it is, yeah. Or oh, just well, go well, on YouTube well. Music and search Jake Gover Music, and it's on there it's too. Your last, last up, it was like your last uploaded thing too. Yeah. Uh, it's right in the top, right it's there. Everywhere. It's it's everywhere. If you're on Apple Music, uh, you're not it's gonna there. be on Apple Music watching this. But if you don't use Spotify yeah. for music, go on Apple Music, find it. Amazon Music, Deezer, fucking. Everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Just go find it, go stream it, please. It's uh, you job. Go as soon as we're done. Go, go listen to it. I put, I put a, yeah. I put a, I put a solid amount of work into it. So, you know, very good, uh, amazing. I'm, I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm a, uh, you know, I don't have much faith, but I'm hoping it, it uh, sees sees some light. But uh, it should. It's good enough for uh, to get some. But yeah, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Lewis, for being here. And uh, we'll introduce Leo to you all next time. And uh, waffle for another 45 minutes. Yay. Anyway, on that note, uh, this has been the first episode of Musical Mayhem. Um, I was going to say something following that, but I'm not going to lie. I feel like that would just make this outro way more cringy than it needs to be. It's not even going to be an (laughs) outro. So, you know, tune in next Sunday. If you don't, Yep. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna move into your walls. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna move into your walls and uh, eat your pet pig. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fry that motherfucker. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I've been Jake. Lewis has been Lewis. Um, Lewis. <laughs> been Lewis. Um. I've been Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you all in the next fucking episode of this fucking shit house podcast. <laughs>